um, talk what is machine learning. So let's real start. <laughs> what is machine learning? Uh, machine learning has now been a fancy word uh, together with artificial intelligence and also deep learning. So what is not machine learning? Um, machine learning is more like a metaphor that nowadays uh, computers still cannot real learn, so they cannot read the book. They cannot gain knowledge like human beings. And that is because <clears throat> our human beings are still very, very complicated. So we don't even understand how our brains are uh, functioning. So not to mention that we can create some uh, computers or machines that can work as human brains. So human, uh, computers still cannot um, as much powerful as our brains. So they are simply uh, following the instructions that we give them. Okay, so then what is machine learning? So machine learning <coughs> uh, is about extracting knowledge from data. But the knowledge is um, very, very limited. So to be more specific, those are the mathematic relationships between those that exist in your data. So those mathematical relationships might be very strong. In that case, you will have very great machine learning model and might be very weak. <clears throat> or sometimes it is a prob probabilistic relationship. So then in that case, then your model will not do very good. So what does that mean? So let's say that we want to predict the house price. Um, so that Y right now stand for the house price. And then we have some other variables that can help us make the prediction. So let's see the size of the house. Okay. Uh, so at the general rules that the house become bigger, so the price will be higher. Uh, so when you collect your, uh, when you have your data, so your data may like look like this. So, um, and then we put the data, we bring the data into our models and depending on what type of models you are using, which model you are using. So the models is trying to find out the best uh, mathematical relationship that can fit with your data. So for example, in this case, we suppose we have a linear uh, relationship. So we use a linear line <coughs> that um, the price and also size of the house are following this linear relationship, then that is the best machine, um, mathematical model that we can have. And in that case, so those data that we brought to the machine learning are the data that we already know the price. And based on the based on the data, we can build, okay, so that's the mathematical relationship. And now if you say, okay, now I have a house that the size is here, okay? So what will be the price? So we bring the size to the model and model will predict price. So that is the price that will be predicted for this house. So that the, um, so they start represents a new house, a, a new data set. And so that's how the um, uh, house model is working. So actually you can see here that this, this model underestimate the price of this new house. Okay, um, and we can build, so we can build a lot of models. So it can be model that um, fit with your data. You see this line perfectly. Or the model can probably also just ignore the relationship. So that's not fit your line perfectly. So you need to choose the right model and that work best, that fit best with your data set. So we want to create a model that, so the models are learned from the data. So those mathematic models are learned, uh, the relationship is learned from your data. So we choose different models and those models will generally identify the relationship among your data. And then we can use those uh, new relationships and to use to predict uh, the outcome of the new data. Okay, uh, so types of the machine learning. So uh, generally, there are two types of machine learning models, uh, supervised learning and also unsupervised learning. 
And for supervised learning, there are also two subcategories, so classification and also regression models. Okay, so classification means that the outcome that we want to predict are labels or all their categorical data, so like the, the type of the house, etc. Regressions mean that the, the output will be the numbers. Okay, so for the regressions, those are numbers. Okay, and for clustering, that means there's no right, uh, there's no answers. So that means there's no correct answers we can learn from. So those are the basic difference among those models. Uh, so for example, that we want to predict, so here we have a, a a table of the house, and we know the type of the house. Okay, uh, so it can be a townhouse, it can be a single family home, townhouse, single family home. We know the price. Okay, twenty k. That's 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 extreme cheap. Thirty k. Okay, twenty five k. Okay, fifteen k. We also know the size of the house. Okay, so. Uh, 2,000 square feet, 3,000 square feet, okay, 3,000 square feet, and also 2,000 square feet, okay. Uh, and then we're going to predict how that, see, we want to predict, um, so if we, uh, we want to predict the price, okay, so we want to predict the price. And we know the house size, okay, so the house size is 3K. Okay, uh, so in this case, this is uh, because from our da existing data, so we know the, all the prices of the existing data, so we just simply find out the relationship between the price and the size, so we bring the data into the, and we try different models, and then we find out the best uh, relationship, and then we bring the size, okay? To this model and then we can make the predictions so in this case what's the type of this machine learning model okay so that is the regression right because we are trying to predict price so uh, the price are numbers so that is regression models if we are trying to predict say if we want to try to predict the the house type so we bring the size and then instead of predicting price, so we bring the size or the house types. In this case, those are different types. So for example, that is a, a townhouse and also uh, this is a single family house, okay? And then we want to predict the type of the house. In that case, so if you want to predict the type of the house, and then that will be a classification method. Okay, so that's the difference between classification and regression. And for both types of the machine learning models, we do kind of know the right answers. So based on the right answers, we're trying to find out the model that can best fit the mathematical relationship that best fit the data. And then we can use that one for predictions. Okay. Um, for unsupervised learning, so unsupervised learning, that means that we don't know the right answer. So for example, uh, still we have the price and we have the size, okay? And, okay, so we have the uh, data that have the price of the house and also size of the house. For unsupervised learning, so we don't want to try to predict the price or the, or the or the size, uh, size of the house, but rather we are trying to group those features into clusters where, so for example, this group of the house, those are the small and also, um, so if that is the size and that is price, so those are the big house and also they are more expensive house. And this group of the price, uh, this group of houses, those are small but expensive houses. So we don't have the right labels so that we cannot check against correct answers. And we don't need to do that. Uh, but instead, we're just going to group the 
the data samples, the data into different clusters that they have the similar features. So that is clustering. Okay. Uh, so for supervised learning, so we provide the input and also desired outputs, and then we want uh, to produce a desired of uh, find a way to produce a desired output of the given input. So in that case, we always have the correct answer to learn from. For unsupervised learning, so only the input data is known, and we don't know the output data. Okay. Uh, so in addition to those two types of machine learning models, uh, machine learning uh, models, we have the third one that is called reinforcement learning. So uh, we are not going to cover that one in this class. So we are spend a lot of time, most time on the supervised learning, and we will spend two or three weeks on the unsupervised learning. Uh, but we will not cover reinforcement learning. The reinforcement learning is actually very interesting. So that basically means that, uh, so you let the computer to do something, and if the computer does that right, you say, okay, continue, and it gives them a reward. If the, the, if the computer does something wrong, and then it gives them a, a, a penalty, and the continue will go back, and it will go to another direction, and also, uh, if they did it right, you'll give them a reward until the, the computer complete that task. Okay, so that reinforcement learning. Uh, one great example is that for example, the self-driving cars. So the car will drive uh, slowly and if the driver, the car is off the road, it will give a, a penalty. So the car will come back to the road and it will receive an award, reward. So until the car reaches the, the destination. So once that machine, so, so you repeat those training uh, process multiple times, and after multiple times, uh, the car is able to drive very smoothly from the origination to the destination. So, so then that will be a great model. So that reinforcement learning. And we don't have time to cover that. So, so those are some different types of the machine learning models.